Well, how's it going today, guys? Today we have a new rifle for you to check out. This one is a Sabati Tactical Evo uh, US model. Uh, Sabati is probably a brand you guys aren't too familiar with. I was just uh, aware of them about a couple of years ago. Uh, you don't really see them around too much, but um, based on what I've seen of this rifle so far, I would say they're a hell of a good bang for the buck. Uh, this one in particular is a 6.5 Creedmoor uh, 22 inch barrel, uh, very robust, heavy gun, definitely meant for competition and bench shooting. I've got a little over 30 rounds through it so far. Did a little out of the box accuracy test there the other day, and uh, the thing definitely performed. Uh, I, from what I'm seeing, I definitely already could tell you I recommend it. It's definitely an awesome gun. But I definitely want to give you guys a little rundown on the features here. This pretty much has everything you could want out of a tactical rifle or long range rifle. Uh, number one has this tactical style stock, kind of a vertical grip here. Leaves a nice shelf for your thumb to just kind of ride on. Uh, real comfortable grip there. Uh, adjustable cheek piece, you just loosen these two up and uh, spin this wheel. And this thing has a mile of adjustment and that's super handy because uh, I mounted the Citron here. I just pulled this off my AR, so it's an AR mount. Um, probably mounted up a little bit higher than I would like, but still doesn't really matter because I can adjust the cheek to the scope rather than adjust the scope to the cheek. So really awesome feature there. Uh, the stock itself has this uh, like kind of sprayed on spider web uh, texture on it. And I mean, it just it feels good throughout. It's got kind of a, like a little bit of a sandpapery feel to it. Um, got some good stippling here for your forend and your grip back here. And of course has just this huge flat, uh, spot right here. Lets it ride in the bags real nice. Um, the action itself here is a three lug bolt design with a 60 degree throw. Runs really smooth. You don't really have to worry about running your hand up into the scope or anything like that. And uh, I had no issues with extraction, ejection, any of that sort of thing. So really nice bolt on this. I'm pretty impressed with that. The trigger itself is adjustable. I uh, haven't tried adjusting it yet, but it came right out of the box, just a little over two pounds. So pretty happy with that. So I left it right alone. Uh, the barrel itself here is a 22 inch barrel threaded on the end and it actually came with a muzzle brake already on it, which is pretty nice. Uh, Nice thing, I didn't know it was gonna come with that. And it also came in a really nice hard case as well. So uh, just adding more value to the gun. Uh, like I said, comes with the Picatinny mounts, everything like that as well. So uh, you're getting a lot for your money. Uh, the barrel itself is a 22 inch multi-radial rifled barrel. Uh, I believe Sabati is the only company that actually does the multi-radial rifling. Uh, Multi-radial is basically like a hexagon and all the corners are rounded off and then it has it, you know, the twist embedded into it. Uh, what they're claiming is much better velocities, uh, less bullet deformation, so uh, better ballistic coefficients at range. Uh, from my testing, I will say, comparing this to my Sauer that also has a 22 inch barrel, I saw close to 100 feet per second faster on this barrel. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show you my accuracy. Uh, some loads I just kind of slapped together. So this first group here was of the 123 grain SST, uh, loaded with 43 grains of powder. Uh, on the sour video, those were doing in the neighborhood of uh, 28, 30 feet per second. In this rifle, they're doing close to 29.50. So we saw a nice gain in velocity there. And for the first group out of this rifle, it is under an inch, so really happy with that. Up here, I went to my go-to Sierra Game Changer load, the 130 grain, 42 grains of Reloader 16, stacked in really nice right here. I did have one flyer, which I think was more or less my fault uh, over here. And this is the bullet I'm going to be playing with definitely some more is the 147 grain ELD uh, with Reloader 16 powder. 
had some a nice four shot group there with one flyer, but I know it was my fault. I got these bullets up to about 2750 feet per second on the muzzle velocity, which that is smoking for a 22 inch barrel uh, 6.5 Creedmoor for sure. Then we moved on to the 147 grain match hand, uh, factory load. We're, we're only getting about 2,600 feet per second out of these, but check out that three shot group, beautiful. And then we, uh, just for fun, we tried out the, G, the 120 grain GMX factory load and uh, two shots there, one there, and I felt comfortable on all those shots. So well, I don't really recommend that ammo. It's not, not the greatest, that's for sure. So overall, this rifle pretty much packs everything you could possibly want out of a tactical, you know, long-range bolt-action rifle. I'm uh, pretty pleased with it. The accuracy seems to be right on par, and I can't wait to do, you know, more hand load testing, things like that, get it out in the field. This was probably going to be my new go-to rifle this summer for woodchuck hunting, so really looking forward to stretching the range out on this thing. Uh, if you do find one, they're probably going to run you about $1,200. Like I said, I, to me, totally worth it. You got a nice stainless uh, barrel, <clears throat> really nice rigid stock with adjustments, uh, muzzle brake, and a really nice case that goes with it as well. So uh, if, you, if you're lucky enough to stumble upon one of these, I definitely recommend taking a look at it. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, please like, share, uh, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And I hope we see you here on the next one. Have a good one, guys. All right, so after my out-of-the-box video here, I decided to load up some more of these 147 grain uh, ELDs. Just loaded 20 all the same once again. Uh, I'm going to wait until I get all this brass fire for them. Maybe let the gun get broke in a little bit more before I start playing around with seating depth and uh, powder charges. But anyway, load some more up. We're just going to see how she shoots here. I actually never did check this magazine. I'm wondering if it's, uh, they claim it's a seven round. There's six, there's seven, and yeah, we're not getting any more than seven in there. All right, first and second shot kind of spread spread apart there already Stacking them in there pretty nice. That's it.